Hi, welcome to your new photograph video. Um, so we're going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, working as hard as you can in that 30 seconds, so 100% effort. And um, then at the end of the workout, you're going to press repeat. I want you to do it three times in one session, okay? And minimum of three times a week, four or five if you can, if you feel like it. Okay, so first one we're going to be doing is lunges, okay? So we're going to have feet hip distance apart, then you're going to step forward into that lunge position, both knees at right angles, core nice and tight, body central. Okay, so 30 seconds starting now, go. So you're pushing back with the front leg, using that thigh. Good, make sure your front knee is not going over your toes. So as many as you can. You want to keep your feet in that tram line position, okay? You don't want one going behind the other because you will fall over. Good, keep going. Five seconds. Good, and rest in there. Okay, next one. I'm going to get the heart rate back up. Okay, so two options on this one. It's called knee to elbow. So you're literally bringing the knee across so you can step it out. If you want to really get the heart rate up, you can jump it through as well okay so I'll do half and half and you do which one you feel comfortable doing okay remember you want to push yourself you want to get that heart rate up during this one okay three two one good so as I'm pulling my knee in elbows coming down to my knee and I'm crunching through my abdominals so you go as fast as you can if you're stepping okay I'm going to take it to a jump so I'm reaching my arms up as high as I can go, pulling that knee up to my chest, crunching still, going as fast as I can. Good, keep pushing. Good, and rest there, stepping out. Next we've got squat kicks. Okay, so I want you to imagine someone that has really annoyed you. Okay, you wanna get back at them. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna squat down and you're gonna kick out with one leg, squat down again, the other one out and you can add a punch as well with the opposite hand keep your feet moving five seconds three two one sit right down into that squat kick out good add a punch if you want to so opposite arm punches forward make sure when you're sitting down into that squat you're bending up the hips trying to sit down on that chair behind you Good, keep going. You've got three chances to really get them. Good, last one. Well done, good work. Okay, coming down onto the mat. So we're gonna be doing press ups with a slight difference this time. So, making sure your knees are on the mat, hands either side. You're going to come down and then you're going to take your elbows down and push back up and do a press up okay so make sure those hips are forward and not sitting back so all the way it's going through the arms go press up elbow elbow hand hand press up good keep that core nice and tight Ten seconds, nearly there. Chest down to the floor in the press up. Good, and finish off. Good, sit back, stretch the arms. Good, coming back up onto your feet slowly so you don't get a head rush. So, we did this one in the last workout, so running with high arms. Okay, keep your feet moving, bringing that heart rate back up. So I want you to work as hard as you can in this section because the next two are down on the floor, okay? Three, two, and one, go. Fast as you can, heels up to your bum, reaching all the way up, bringing those hands down to your hips. Remember to breathe. Good, keep going. 
Push, push, push. As fast as you can. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Good rest. Okay, down on the floor. So, first we've got hip extensions. So coming down, bring the heels in towards your bum. You want to be able to raise the toes up so the weight goes through your heels. Neck down on the floor, hands to the side for support. You're going to lift all the way up, squeezing the buttocks. So inhale when you're down on the floor. Exhale as you lift up. Okay, we're starting now. So exhale, squeeze the core together. Pull that pelvic floor in. I want to hear you breathe in. As you exhale, that core naturally tightens all the way through, pulls your natural corset in and pulls that pelvic floor up. So I really want you to focus on pulling that pelvic floor in. Last one. Good, hug the knees in. And while we're talking about pelvic floor, remember to do your pelvic floor exercises every day. Okay, 10 fast, 10 slow, every morning. Okay, next one coming up. Russian twist, we're gonna get some ab work in. So you're sitting nice and tall on your sit bones, knees hip distance apart, leaning back, feel that biting point in the tummy, arms out in front. And then you're gonna twist around, back to center and other side. Okay, go twist. So you wanna lean back as far as you can without falling down onto the floor. Pull that core in nice and tight. Remember to breathe. Look over the shoulder. Make sure you're twisting through. rest, lean forward, release off those abdominals. Okay, so that is your new workout. So hit repeat two more times and enjoy your day.